four, three, two, one. MDS, we have ignition, we have a liftoff. It's been over 45 years since NASA launched Voyager 1, the first spacecraft to travel beyond the solar system and enter interstellar space. Everything has been working well, or so we thought, until recently. The old spacecraft has sent shocking data that may change everything we've ever known about space and the universe at large. Since NASA was established more than 60 years ago, the agency has been on a never-ending streak to discover and uncover every detail about our universe. Through them, we've come to know that there are other planets in the universe and unidentified aerial phenomena are not myths or fantasies. In the 1960s, a grand tour to study the outer planets was proposed, prompting NASA to begin working on a mission in the early 1970s. Information gathered by the Pioneer 10 spacecraft helped Voyager's engineers design Voyager to cope more effectively with the intense radiation environment around Jupiter. On September 1977, NASA launched the space probe Voyager 1 as part of the Voyager program to study the outer solar system. 35 years after its launch, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space, making it the first spacecraft to do so. This veteran spacecraft has been drifting through space, gathering and relaying data through its attitude articulation and control system. However, its recent data proves to be a hard nut to crack. If you are a fan of the unknown, this video will not only intrigue you, it will keep you baffled and wondering about what is out there far beyond the stars, every mystery uncovered by Voyager 1. First, a little background on the spacecraft Voyager 1. Voyager 1 was constructed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and has 16 hydrazine thrusters, 3 axis stabilization gyroscopes and referencing instruments. Together, they constitute the Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, or AACS. It also includes 11 scientific instruments to study celestial objects, such as planets, as it travels through space. The radio communication system of Voyager 1 was designed to be used up to and beyond the limits of the solar system. It transmits data to Earth over Deep Space Network Channel 18, using a frequency of either 2.3 GHz or 8.4 GHz, while signals from Earth to Voyager are transmitted at 2.1 GHz. Voyager 1 is one of the oldest still-working space probes and lies 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. In its long life in space, it has come close to Earth only once, in 1980, when it passed Saturn. Once in a while, it drifts around our solar system, bringing amazing images of planets around us. Even as it drifts farther and farther from us, it keeps sending data back to Earth. The Voyager 1 has answered a lot of questions about our solar system. With Voyager 2, its sister spacecraft, Voyager 1 space probe made several important discoveries about Jupiter, its satellites, its radiation belts, and its never-before-seen planetary rings. Two years after its launch, Voyager 1 started taking pictures of Jupiter. Its closest approach to Jupiter was in March 1979, at a distance of about 217,000 miles from the planet's center. More observations of the Jovian system's moons, rings, magnetic fields, and radiation belt environment were made during the 48 hours surrounding the closest approach due to the higher photographic resolution made possible by a closer approach. Voyager 1 also pinpointed the exact location of the heliopause at 120 EU of Jupiter's orbit and records data about plasma, dust, density and gravitational force across space. This took place in August 2012 and on September 12, 2013, NASA formally verified this. The day that persistent variations in the density of energetic particles were initially discovered, August 25, 2012, about 10 days before the 35th anniversary of its launch, is usually considered as the date of arrival. By this time, most astronomers had given up on the idea that a change in magnetic direction was required for the heliopause to be crossed. A crucial finding that convinced many scientists that the heliopause had been crossed was an indirect measurement of an 80-fold increase in electron density, based on the frequency of plasma oscillations observed B 
beginning on April the 9th, 2013, triggered by a solar outburst that had occurred in March 2012. The first mystery came just last year, when NASA engineers noticed a puzzling constant vibrating hum they believe was from interstellar gas or plasma waves from the probe. This persistent hum became a mystery, because finding its source has proven impossible. Could it be aliens? Is the hum from a faulty system on board, or is it part of space sounds that the probe picks up? The answer is yet to be determined. The mysterious hum is now a regular activity, since it does not interfere with the workings of the probe. The data obtained from Voyager 1 will help NASA understand our solar system. But how can NASA properly work with this new trend of confusing data? Dodd, the project manager for Voyager Interstellar Mission, says they must adapt and keep looking for the source of the hum. NASA could send software or use the spacecraft's hardware system to resolve the problem if they find the source. But this was just the start of the mystery. Then, like a bad horror movie, the mystery deepens. The disturbing part of this anomaly was that the probe's AACS seemed to be in excellent working order, but the data it sends does not match the spacecraft's movement and orientation. This unexpected turnout led NASA researchers to suggest that the craft was confused about its space location. NASA was looking for answers. The antenna seemed to be in proper alignment and still receives and executes commands. But why the data is random is still puzzling, even to their brightest minds. More confusing was the strong signal emitting from Voyager 1. If the signal is strong, the antenna is well positioned and the AACS relays no significant defects, then where is the unfamiliar data problem coming from? No one knew or has been able to find out yet. Dodd said, a mystery like this is par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft is almost 45 years old, far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. Yes, the mission has gone on longer than planned, but could that be the reason for the mystery data? NASA would only give up once they understood more about the phenomenon they were dealing with. They need to foresee how this situation will affect the collection and transmission of data in the long run. The silver lining to this mystery is that the spacecraft system is yet to trigger the safe mode on the spacecraft. Once the safe mode activates, only the essential operations will work. It takes 20 hours and 33 minutes to perform a round-trip message to the Voyager and back. That is two days of waiting before determining whether a specific task works. But despite this obstacle, Dodd hoped her team would figure out and fix the junk data problem. The only option they had was to monitor and observe Voyager 1's data for more anomalies, then use that to reach a tangible conclusion and solution. This mystery sounds scary, but it does not hold any repercussions for us here on Earth. It is only a scientific problem that NASA would solve with time. Dodd believed it is not unusual for a spacecraft that long in space to develop anomalies. Speculations were that the spacecraft was living on borrowed time and might run out of fuel soon. Its life estimate is 2027, 50 years from its launch and 5 years from now. Are these mysterious random junk data caused by old age or dying probes? We cannot say exactly, but everything with a beginning must have an end, even spacecraft. In August 2022, part of the mystery was solved. The answer was surprising as no one imagined it to be that simple. An engineer suspected it was a dead computer and sent a probe command. Voyager 1 was generating invalid data after receiving a lousy command through the dead computer from another computer aboard the probe. NASA engineers sent the probe a command to instruct its AACS system to pick the appropriate computer to dial home. It took a while, but the repair was minimal risk. Though NASA does not consider this defect a threat to the probe's life, an investigation is ongoing to prevent a repeat. This is because this anomaly suggests that there is some other issue with Voyager 1's computer systems. But NASA is yet to determine what caused the telemetry issue in the first place. Suzanne Dodd said, We are happy to have the telemetry back. Thankfully, no onboard fault prevention mechanisms have been activated by the NASA Voyager 1 problem. This system's goal is to keep the spaceship in safe mode, which keeps vital functions running 
while allowing engineers time to investigate and repair the problem. Not only that, but Voyager 1's signals haven't diminished either, indicating that the high-gain antenna is still pointed at Earth as it should be. There will be a full AACS memory reading to help determine the cause of the defect and how to prevent it from happening again.